now to that breaking news from overnight Supervisor Zach Scribner resigning from the Kern County Board of Supervisors effective today amid allegations of sexual assault. Since 2011, he has represented the county's second district, including eastern and central communities surrounding Tajby. 17's Jenny Ha has been following this investigation and joins us in studio with now more on the future of Scribner's seat. Jenny. Elena, the county released a statement late last night saying board chair David Couch received a letter of resignation from Scrivener. Scrivener says he is resigning, quote, for significant health and medical reasons. Supervisor Scrivener, please resign. Mr. Scrivener should immediately step down. I am requesting Mr. Scrivener to resign immediately. Those wishes now a reality. District 2 Supervisor Zach Scrivener has resigned from the Board of Supervisors effective Friday, August 2nd. In a letter of resignation, Scriver cites significant health and medical reasons, but mentions no additional details about his medical condition or allegations of child sexual assault he has faced since an incident at his Tehachapi home on April 23rd. That night, KCSO deputies were called to Scrivener's house after a report he was armed and suicidal and allegedly had sexually assaulted a minor. And the following morning, investigators seized 30 firearms, electronics, including Scrivener's phone, allegedly psychedelic mushrooms, and more. Since then, Scrivener has not made a public appearance, nor has he attended a supervisor's meeting. His whereabouts are still unknown, and he had been on an indefinite paid medical leave since May 8th. Scrivener has not been arrested nor charged, and his case has been sent to the California Department of Justice, which says it's still undecided in whether it'll prosecute the case if any prosecution is needed. Now the focus is on the future of Scrivener's seat. Per state law, vacancies on county boards of supervisors are filled via appointments by the governor. That appointee holds the seat until a successor is formally elected. While county supervisor seats are nonpartisan offices, party politics can play a a role here. Kern's Board of Supervisors has four Republicans, including Zach Scrivener and one Democrat. Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom will likely appoint to the board a second Democrat. County Council says they'll soon have more details on when an election to succeed Scrivener can happen. And I'll have continued coverage of this in the next hour. Jenny Ha, 17 News.